Hi, this is Patricia's Ministries. I'm Father Bill, and you're very welcome to my channel. In our grouping of parishes here in Dublin this Holy Week, myself and other priests were offering the Sacrament of Confession outdoors, weather permitting, of course. But why come to confession? Let's dig in. You know, just a, a few weeks ago, a, a survey came out here in Ireland about the experiences of first-year students in our third-level institutions. And look, at most of the young women who took part in that, they said that they faced unwanted sexual contact and harassment. And, and many young men surveyed, they seemed to say that they felt a great pressure to lose their virginity. You know, I'm sure many of you, like me, we were shocked, but can we really be surprised? I mean, it's no stretch of the imagination to see how saturated our culture is in the love and abuse of nudity. It's as if our sexuality has become something that is to be tossed around without any uh, repercussions or consequences. Do what you want with people. Make them submit to your will. That kind of mentality. Bishop Fulton Sheen, he once said, and I quote, We are living in the first age in the history of the world that has denied guilt and sin. I, I've got to be me, I've got to be free. You know, that type of thing. You know, sin, for a lot of people nowadays, it seems they think it's a medieval invention, you know, of old traditions that the modern world does not need anymore. Oh, really? Well, those young people in our universities who experienced these sexual abuses of one kind or another, or those who carry out such, such acts, what way will these young people grow? into marriage life. How, how, what way will they grow as parents? I promise you, their consciences will eat them for the rest of their lives. And you know, the denial of sin is serious and it has serious consequences. I mean, modern men and women, they're, they're bottling up all their guilt because they don't know where to go with it. You know, some develop addictions to pornography, some take up drinking, some become angry, some develop real hatred, some even make themselves busy so as to not to be able to stop and think on their past mistakes. You know, there's, there's a fear of examining one's conscience in the modern world, all of which has detrimental effects on relationships, marriages, parenting skills, etc. A lot of people today, they're lying awake at night because their, their consciences are screaming at them that there's something wrong. Modern men and women are very uneasy. And you know what, then we have Catholics and we have Christians today who say something along the lines of, ah sure, look it, I'll say sorry to God in my own prayers and I'll be alright. Okay. Does God answer back? No, of course not. That's not how it works. It's a false illusion that you're in control. It's why today, for example, so many people, they, they want God uh, and religion, and particularly Catholicism, to be really vague and non-specific because that gives people wiggle room to make God and religion about their own design. So they don't have to do the hard work of, say, going to a priest for confession, but they'll do it myself. You know, the rise of DIY spiritualities and religions have skyrocketed for that reason alone. Look at everybody, you and I, we're not just souls, we're not just spirits. We have flesh, we have bodies. And so it, it's the physical words that we need to hear. You are forgiven. We need human to human. And the priest is that human whom God has brought forward to be a scrubber of hearts and souls. A human being through whom God's love and mercy washes our souls and our hearts clean. Why? So to begin again. You know, when we were children and we did something wrong, you, you go straight to your parents and you tell them and you say you're sorry. But you know, if the parents did nothing but grunted at you and said absolutely nothing, they were going to be uneasy and not know whether forgiven or not. But when our parents, out of love, say to us, don't worry dear, I forgive you. 
Wow. I mean, the difference in that alone is colossal. We become at peace. Our guilt and our uneasiness are lifted. We start fresh again. We become happy again. It's the same thing, everybody, with the sacrament of confession. Confession, it, it, it's like performing a regular update, for example. and uh, Keep one's soul and body updated so that the viruses don't linger and shut down our computer. It, it's like taking a car to a service. If we don't take the car to a service every now and then, eventually the car's going to stop, break down, give up. Confession, it, it's like that, and it's like taking a shower after a long walk or a run to wash off the dust and the dirt and the sweat so you feel like new. It, it, confession, everybody, it's about putting oneself, by God's grace, back on track. You know, getting the relief and the weight of our guilt and shame lifted off us. Look at I know there's a lot of you guys out there who do not believe in Christ, who do not believe in the holiness of the Catholic Church, nor the power of Christ through the priest. I understand that. Believe me, I do. But I dare you guys to go to confession and see for yourself what I'm talking about. Stop carrying around those desperate sins and burdens that keep you awake, that make you angry. Give all that over to God and experience the lifting of that guilt and the heavy consciences we all carry around. You know, even today, a number of young women came over to me in the car park here at the church when I was hearing confessions this morning. Young women, young mothers, who haven't been to confession since they were little girls. And they began to cry in front of me today. And they cried with joy at the, the lifting of their very heavy burdens. Sins from years ago that when they first committed them, they said, Asher, ah, sure, what difference will it make? But it's eaten them up inside. Sins that unfortunately had begun to kind of grind them down to make them feel worthless and wanted them to give up. And when they heard from the words of the priest's mouth this morning, through the ministry of the Holy Church, I absolve you of all of your sins in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, your sins are forgiven. <laughs> Guys, I can't describe just the beautiful witness of, of a frown turning into a smile on their faces. They, they knew there in that moment they had a fresh slate to begin again. Lives are changed because of the mercy of God in confession. That I promise you. And my message is that for all of you out there, the worst thing in the world at the moment is the denial of sin. Sin is a reality and as a church we really need to start getting back on top of this. You know, guys, don't be afraid of your conscience. It does great damage when we hold on to guilt. And the only avenue we have to lift those burdens is into the love and the mercy of God. So take time, everybody, to, to, to examine your conscience. Be honest and open to God. And do so in the presence of one of his holy priests.